This month, the Ursuline sisters celebrate the 475th anniversary of the founding of their order, which includes 136 years of service right here in the Valley. In tonight's 11 p.m. special, Sally Phillips shows us how they continue to give. For your regard has blessed me. It's always the challenge to try and make intelligible to people who live in the early 21st century who we are as Catholic nuns, uh, how we interact with people in the world, what we do. The 52 nuns of the Ursuline Sisters in Canfield are busy women. They teach English as a second language. They landscape and make crafts for sale out of the flowers they grow. But above all else, these women spend their lives educating and assisting those in need. Ursulines are known to be educators, and in many places in Europe and here in the uh, United States as well, they have founded schools. It all began with one woman. The Ursuline sisters were founded in Italy in 1535 by St. Angelo Marici. She hoped to use her faith to give women and the poor a better future. St. Angela helped women in war-torn Italy lift themselves out of poverty. Her mission became the Ursuline sisters, the first nuns in America and in Northeast Ohio. And education is still what they do today. Maybe it's learning new job skills. Maybe it's learning better parenting skills. Maybe it's learning to break out of a cycle of poverty. Many nuns are college professors, and all of them volunteer endless hours helping children, the elderly, veterans, the homeless, and AIDS patients. Angela was known, St. Angela, for her nurturing. And so we're trying to nurture people into our life and getting vocations today is a real challenge in the light of our own culture. It's also a challenge to find new women who want to spend their days in service. With so many options for young women today, the sisters still encourage them to consider a life of rewarding service through faith. I think they would find this life very gratifying, very meaningful, uh, and it's a wonderful journey. And I've said this before, I've never had a dull moment. Ursula Nunn say the 52 women who share the 70-acre mother house property have become a family, meeting the needs of an evolving society. This way of life, it's, it's our way of loving. And just like there are struggles and challenges in other ways, like in a family, we, we support each other. That support is felt everywhere the Ursuline's helping hand touches. With more local news, I'm Sally Phillips.